How's it going, everybody? Stavi Gita saying, what is good to all my Super Saiyan homies? Here to bring you all sorts of Dragon Ball gaming content. If you enjoy the video, please consider hitting that thumbs up, subscribing, and turning on notifications so you don't miss it on any future content. That being said, before we start out with the uh, the Revival Gohan, or uh, the LF Revival Gohan equipment guide, that is what the thumbnail says, that is what the title says, that is what it's going to be. However, uh, what it also is supposed to be is the rules of entry for our giveaway. Because on Tuesday, I set out with a go for y'all. We had 285 subscribers as of Tuesday. I put out a goal over on Twitter. Uh, an Instagram for us that if we reached 400 by my birthday, which is July 5th, about a week and a half from now, uh, that I would do the giveaway at 400 subscribers rather than 500 subscribers, which is the plan. Well, you guys blew it out of the water. Not only did we hit 300 that Tuesday, we hit two days later, we hit 400. And now as of this morning, as of recording on Saturday, we hit 500, which is insane. I, I Thank you doesn't even begin to cover it. I, I, I don't even know what to say or to put it into words you guys your support has been amazing and and i just want to say thank you uh, from the very bottom of my heart as sincerely as i can say it so with that being said usually i put you know the rules of entry for the giveaway at the end of a video uh but that's not gonna be the case it'll be right at the beginning so you know if you're not looking to watch the equipment guide you're not trying to fish around the video the rules will be right here at the beginning for you guys or at least the first rule because as per usual for those of you who've stuck around with me for a while the rules of entry are going to be in two parts uh so you're going to have the one part right now in this video and the second part you're going to have to come back tomorrow and we will have that in another video uh so yeah that being said the first rule of entry normally it's just to be subscribed to the channel but for this one it's going to be important for step two one you have to be subscribed to the channel but also you're going to have to go follow me over on twitter or instagram and you guys can see you know you can see that over on the overlay follow me on one of those two it doesn't matter and if you want to unfollow me immediately after the giveaway that's fine too but it's going to be important for part two tomorrow so that's that for the giveaway again thank you doesn't even begin to describe the, the gratitude I feel it, uh, I, I, there's nowhere to go from up but up I'm so excited to be making content for you guys especially because as a teacher uh, this is gonna be my first summer vacation I take in over 10 years as opposed to uh, watch me call it going and working at a camp like I usually do so I am just going to be full throttle with content with that being said we're gonna hop over to the revival Goku uh, or Excuse me, Revival Gohan <laughs> Equipment Guide. And uh, yeah, for those of you who need it, I'll see you guys in a second. For those of you who are just here for the giveaway, thank you again for your support. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. So first up, we've got the Awakened No, number one. Uh, oh, not, that, that's, I'm sorry, I fucked that up. It's the three exclamation points, and then <laughs> the number one is, is N-O dot. So yeah, excuse me on that front. But with that being said, this one is fire for him because... Well, I'm normally not a huge fan of going double offense for equips. What's great about this character is because he's a revival unit, you don't really need to go nuts uh, investing in defense. And while, yes, it's nice to have some defense post-revival, you do kind of, like, getting his revival off is, is, is pretty solid. Because, like, yes, he's good pre-transformation, but after he transforms, he absolutely explodes. And so I think it's pretty important to kind of just focus on his damage. And with that being said, he's getting strike defense, which is always important, uh, considering that strike cards are usually the... the I, I would say that melee units tend to fare better, age better in the meta than blast units do. Uh, and then also on top of this, we've got pure buff per hybrid saying that he's run with. So if you're running him on hybrids, which a vast majority of people are going to, uh, he's getting a pure blast attack and strike attack of up to 8% apiece per battle member, or per hybrid saying battle member. So like, this equip is pretty wild, and it's all Hybrid Saiyans, and what's great about this one is you can get it in the Hybrid Saiyan uh, event, um, what we call it, mission event, like the, the, the equipment event uh, that you could do with the skip tickets, uh, you know, they've got all the different categories. I, I always like say mission uh, for those, but they're not missions, like missions and events are different, so it is an event. That being said, let's move on to the next equip, I apologize for rambling. <laughs> So next up, we've got the Awakened You Can Do It, right, Gohan? And this one is nice because the Unawakened version you can get um, in a couple of places right now. You can get it with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, equipment medals in the equipment metal shop. And then the other place you can get it is for a limited time right now, as of recording. You can get it in the, whatchamacallit, in the Perfect Cell event that's running right now. So not the one that's the Zenkai uh, second form cell, but the Perfect Cell event that is running that gives you the three hour um, adventures that you can get from there. So 
So this is a pretty solid equip, once again, giving you a uh, pure strike defense per Sun Family Battle Member, which even if you're just running him by himself, uh, you know, on say like movies, uh, is pretty solid. But a lot of the hybrids team is Sun Family, you know, considering FSK, Future Gohan, very solid passive to have. On top of this, you've got Strike Attack, Blast Attack, and what's nice about this is it applies to all Sun Family Super Saiyans. Uh, so this could apply to a lot of different units in the game. Let's move on to the next one. Next, we got the Awakened, I think we can do it, which comes from, or, or excuse me, which applies to purple melee types. That's what I wanted to say. Now, this one is, <laughs> this equip is something else for all purple melee types, because you're getting Blast Attack for 15%. All right, cool, whatever. Strike Defense for 15%. All right, cool, whatever. But then <laughs> you're getting two different Strike Defenses, because Slot 3 is not just Strike Defense. It's Strike Defense and Strike Attack for 15%, with another 18% to strike attack in the middle slot. So this equip is phenomenal because you can get, again, 15% to both strike attack or strike defense and blast attack. And then to strike attack, you can get up to 33%, which is for an awakened silver equip, absolutely bananas. Um, this one you can farm up through the Frieza event, um, the one that will give you the blue Zenkai Frieza. So you can farm it up in there, the unawakened version, and then as per usual for awakened equips, yada yada yada, USRT medals, or USTR medals, and yeah, there you have it. Next up, we have another one you can get with the equipment medals, and that is the hold on to my shoulder. And this one, you could either do the awakened version or the unawakened version. Uh, there's really not too astronomically high of a difference. Uh, you do go with the base critical from 12.5 to 15 with the awakening. Uh, and then you're getting in the middle, it's going to randomize either blast defense or strike defense. That goes from 18 to 20%. Uh, and then on the last slot, you're getting a pure attack per saga uh, battle member. And then, yeah, it's up to 6% on the awakened. 5% on the Unawakened, so you really could go either way, honestly, um, if you wanted to. Very solid equip either way. This one is for Saga melee types. I believe the Unawakened version goes for all Saga members, uh, but he's a melee type anyway, so you know, that's, that's what you'd want to be focusing on anyway. Next up! Next up, when we can get with the Equip Metal Shop, we have the Raya! Which is kind of fun, because you get uh, Blast Attack for 13, Strike Defense for 18, and then if you're running him with a red or blue uh, unit, you're getting Strike Attack for a pure buff of up to 10%. What's nice about this is, you know, you have FSK Gohan, as well as the blue uh, Zenkai Trunks. So, you know, as, far, as long as you're running him alongside one of those, or like, if you're running him on movies, if you have like LF Broly, or the Gokua, or Bojack, you know, there's, there's a lot of options of, of red and blue characters that a lot of people probably would run alongside this guy. Uh, so I figure, you know, even though it's a bit limited, I'd still think it was worth mentioning, uh, especially for, you know, a pure buff of 10% is nothing to sneeze at. So next up, we have U Failure. This one you can get with your Z medals, your whale coins, if you will. Uh, but you can also get it in hyperdimensional co-op right now. Uh, what's nice about this one is, while it is giving you double strike defense on that first slot of 15% a piece, uh, so you could be getting up to 30% uh, to strike defense on that. On the last slot, uh, if you're rolling, you probably should be rolling for the melee slot because he is a melee type unit. Uh, if you're getting that roll, you're getting 10% to strike attack, and once again, that is a pure buff just for you know him existing. So pretty good you know really really solid number for strike defense and then really solid number for strike attack right there not offering too too much else so you know i would just say you know if it's kind of something that you're you, you get a good one out of hyperdimensional co-op may not be the worst thing to invest a couple rolls into uh if if you like or you don't really have any other options uh so yeah without further ado we got like a couple more and we'll call it a video Next we have Crush Them, which is 13% to Blast Attack, base strike defense of 15, and then a pure buff again of uh, Blast Attack, or sorry, excuse me, Strike Attack, which is what we're looking for, for once again red or blue. So it is in a very similar vein uh, to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the other one we mentioned previously, the purple movie equip. Uh, so yeah. That being said, this one does apply to every purple unit, which is nice for uh, the versatility. And uh, yeah, so let's move on. We got uh, two more, and that'll be that. Now, on this version, we have a bit of a light version, I guess, but what's nice about this is it's not necessarily limited, uh, kind of like the other two, where we have, uh, once again, uh, even I can sense Goku's key. Uh, and what's nice about this is, once again, it does apply to all purple units, uh, and it is giving double offenses, 13% to strike attack, 15% to blast attack, so it is better for blast type uh, purple units, but, you know, it's still, still what we're looking for right here. And 13% to blast attack. Uh, 
I wouldn't go nuts farming this one, but it's a nice one to have for, for purple units that you know you just want to crank up the damage for. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, that's, uh, that's going to be that, and let's move on to the final equip for the video. So one I want to go over that is not out yet, but it will be out in a few days, and I figure, you know, people may want to stock up on their erasers for it, is the Let's Go equipment. Uh, what's nice about this equip is it does apply to all Saga characters, and personally for me, I, I think this equip is, is very, very good. Like, this goes on the same level for me uh, for uh, the Hurry Up and Die equip. Uh, that works for um, whatchamacallit for all range type units because what's really solid about this is you're getting 10% to special move 15% to strike attack and then 20% to key recovery which I can't think of another equip that goes that high for key, key recovery especially not one that's unawakened like maybe there's an awakened one that I'm just not thinking of right now but I cannot think of an unawakened equip that's not like that so what's going to happen is, is we're going to be getting a Bojack event on the 30th uh, it's going to be it looks like another 50 stager uh, that's going to be around for a little while and yeah you just run through that and you'll you'll be able to farm this equip up no problem um, yeah, I strongly encourage you to save up some erasers, and with that being said, we are going to call it a video. Once again, thank you guys for all the support. I really hope you guys have been finding all the guides and everything helpful. Uh, I really do enjoy making them, and I am looking at, uh, excuse me, let me try that again. I am looking to put out uh, a lot more uh, gameplay content as well, now that you know I have a bit more time to uh, record and do what I'd like to do. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video for part two of the giveaway. Peace out. I will see you guys then.